It was wonderful to have the commencement ceremony at the start of the year, where we had all of our boys and all of our staff, and indeed some of you, our parents, together. And I began by talking about a young man who on the 28th of June, 1858, he rode from Picton, just outside of Bunbury, to the Swan River, and he camped at the Swan River overnight. And legend has it, the next day he swam across the river to enter with 21 other boys for his first day of school. And of course, a contrast with 1,567 boys sitting in front of me in their commencement ceremony. But it really was an important time to acknowledge our leaders, but also welcome 297 new boys into Hale School. And what was pleasing for me was it gave a sense for those new boys in our school, the history and the tradition that they are entering into. And so on that same day, it was lovely to be able to walk down to the junior school and see our new pre-primary boys have their first day at Hale. And of course, that's the first time we've ever had pre-primary boys. And looking through the glass as I walked in, you can see the stripes on their polo tops, which is exactly the same stripes that the year 12s have on their blazers. A really lovely symmetry, the youngest boys and the oldest boys in the school. So welcome to our pre-primary students and their parents. And thank you for all those that participated in the Sundowner. It was wonderful to see all of our parents together. Uh, slight changes at the beginning where we had groups in the junior school, year seven, and then the house groups. We'll make some refinements to that next year, but we certainly thought that was a nice way for our families to be able to meet each other in a smaller setting before coming together in that massive setting which was behind me um, during that evening. And so of course, there's been no shortage of advice offered to your sons from myself, uh, Mr. Bean, the Deputy Headmaster, the heads of sub-schools, Reverend Eleanor, uh, and various pastoral care leaders, I'm sure, and I hope that advice is gonna set your boys up for a great year. Um, I think it has been a really good start to the year, but of course, if you don't feel that it has been, please make sure you do contact in the junior school, your classroom teachers in the middle school, the PCLs, and indeed in the senior school, the assistant head of house or heads of house, to discuss your concerns so we can actually support your son as best as possible. And today has been a lovely day where we've commissioned our next senior chaplain at Hale School, Reverend Eleanor O'Donnell. We had a, a lovely acknowledgement of her commissioning in the junior school this morning, followed by something similar with the middle school boys, and then the official ceremony, which was led by our Archbishop Kay Goldsworthy. But I'm delighted that Reverend Eleanor, as you know, is here. I'm sure she will make a profound difference to our students, our staff, indeed our parents and wider community. You might remember last year we announced that we were running a graduate recruitment program, which actually this year I understand is the only one of its type in schools in Australia. And so our first two graduates uh, have started this year, Amy Woods and Isabel Martin, who are both with us here living on campus, involved in our co-curric, most importantly teaching classes and helping with boarding and Hale 58 in the evening. So we're delighted to have them, but more importantly, we're delighted to be actually steering this particular program, I think for the benefit of teaching and education across Australia. And so lastly, thank you very much again for your support as we've started this year. I really hope that things have started well for your son and I look forward to seeing you around the campus across the coming weeks.